As we go through life, each decade gives us a chance to look back on what we've achieved and what we want to do next. Turning 40 is a big milestone, and it's a good time to aim for certain financial goals. But remember, everyone's journey is different, so don't stress if you haven't reached these goals by 40. The important thing is to do your best. Think of it like this. The best time to start something was a while ago, but the second best time is now. Whether your 40th birthday is coming up soon or still a while away, let's talk about 10 financial goals you can aim for by the time you hit 40. And if you're not quite there yet, we'll discuss some ways to catch up. You might have already achieved some of these goals, and if so, great job. The more you can check off your list, the more confident you'll feel about your financial future. So let's dive into these financial goals to aim for by 40. Let's start with number one. Before you hit 40, it's crucial to have a good chunk of money set aside for emergencies. This is like having cold, hard cash ready in your bank account. Why? Well, when you reach 40, a bunch of responsibilities often hit you all at once. Your kids might need braces. Your parents might need help getting to their doctor's appointments. Or you might come across a sudden investment opportunity you can't pass up. Unlike when we were younger, we don't have as much wiggle room in our 40s. We can't just decide to move somewhere cheaper or survive on rice and beans for a year. Think about how your family would feel about that. Having a solid emergency fund is like having bumpers on a bowling lane. It helps smooth out the rough patches that inevitably pop up in our 40s. And trust me, they come more often than we'd like. A good rule is to have enough money saved up to cover three to six months worth of expenses in an account you can access easily, like a checking or savings account. If you're extra cautious like my wife and me, having enough saved up to cover a year's worth of expenses is even better. If you're still working on it and your 40th birthday is on the horizon, start putting money aside bit by bit. It's way less stressful than scrambling to come up with a big pile of cash all at once. What's cool about having a solid emergency fund is that it can also act as your FU money, as JL Collins calls it. This means it gives you the freedom to pursue new opportunities or take a break from work to spend more time with your family if you want to. The second important financial goal to aim for before turning 40 is figuring out your ideal financial lifestyle. In our 20s and 30s, we often try different things, make mistakes, and hopefully learn from them. But as we approach 40, it's time to clearly understand what truly matters to us and how those prior shape our ideal way of living. For example, you might have thought that cars were a big deal because you loved reading car magazines as a kid. But after spending loads of money on new cars for a decade, you realize they don't bring as much happiness as you expected. Instead, you discover that having a nice backyard is more fulfilling because you enjoy hosting gatherings with family and friends. By recognizing what truly brings you joy, you can adjust your spending priorities accordingly, putting money towards your backyard instead of new cars. Once you've defined your ideal financial lifestyle, making purchasing and investing decisions becomes simpler. You know what makes you happiest, so you can focus your spending on those things while cutting back on less fulfilling expenses. If you're not sure what your ideal financial lifestyle looks like, start by imagining your perfect day. Are you dining at a fancy restaurant with your partner or spending quality time at home with your family? By jotting down your ideal day, you can pinpoint how to align your finances to make it a reality. The third important financial goal to aim for before turning 40 is to have at least five times your annual expenses invested. This is often referred to as Coast Fire by financial independence enthusiasts. Coast Fire means having enough money invested in the market that, even if you stop contributing more money, the compounding interest alone will provide for your retirement when you reach the right age. Having five times your annual expenses invested by age 40 is usually enough for most people to retire comfortably if they continue to hold on to their investments until age 65. Over 25 years, compounding and growth can turn a half million dollar investment at an 8% rate into well over $3 million. So if you want flexibility when you turn 40, whether it's the option to pursue a new career, slow down at work, or spend more time with your family, Aim for at least five times your annual expenses in investments. In my opinion, low-cost total market index funds like VTSAX are among the best options for individual investors like you and me. They allow you to benefit from the market's growth potential 
while minimizing the risk of losing money. The fourth important financial goal to aim for before hitting 40 is to build solid career capital. Career capital, as defined by author Cal Newport in his book, So Good They Can't Ignore You, refers to the rare and valuable skills you possess that can be used as leverage in shaping your career. While it's okay to explore different paths in our 20s without specializing in anything, by our 30s, it's crucial to start investing in our careers to build up valuable skills that we can leverage in our 40s. This leverage could mean negotiating higher salaries or securing better positions because our skill sets are top-notch. I've seen many people still in the exploration phase of their careers even as they approach 40, constantly trying out new paths, going back to school, without truly mastering one area. This applies whether you're in a corporate job, a technical field like healthcare, or starting your own business as an entrepreneur. As we approach our 40s, we want to have options because life throws various challenges our way. One key way to have these options is to follow the advice of comedian Steve Martin. Be so good they can't ignore you. The fifth important financial goal to aim for before turning 40 is to set up multiple streams of income. Having more than one way to earn money is crucial for staying financially stable and resilient, especially as you get closer to your 40s. Relying only on a single source of income, like a job, can leave you vulnerable to tough times like economic downturns, losing your job, or unexpected expenses. But when you diversify your income streams, you create a safety net and give yourself more financial flexibility. There are different ways to set up multiple streams of income. One way is through passive income sources. These are things like rental properties, stocks that pay dividends, or royalties from creative work. Once you've set them up, they can bring in money regularly without you having to actively work on them all the time. Another option is to explore side gigs or freelance work that align with your skills or interests. This could include things like consulting, tutoring, or starting an online business. Having extra income streams like these can boost how much money you make and protect you if one income source slows down. Investing in yourself is also important. Continuously learning new skills or getting certifications related to your field can open up new opportunities for earning more money. It could lead to promotions, higher salaries, or better job options. In summary, setting up multiple streams of income before you hit 40 can give you financial security, increase how much money you can make, and give you peace of mind knowing you have different ways to support your lifestyle and reach your goals. The sixth important financial goal to aim for before reaching 40 is to be debt-free except for your mortgage. Your 40s can be a time when many responsibilities pile up. You might take on bigger roles at work, with more people looking to you for guidance because of your years of experience. Your family might be expanding, with older kids preparing for college and younger ones joining more activities. On top of that, your parents might need more help as they get older, both physically and financially. If you still have debt in your 40s, it can add extra stress to an already busy life. Debt is a tricky thing. Some people see it as a way to achieve their dreams, while others think it's something to avoid completely. My take is this. Treat debt like a neighbor you're polite to when you see them, but you don't invite them over for dinner. Debt can be useful for big purchases like a house, but we shouldn't let it become a regular part of our lives. When we accept debt as normal, we start buying things we don't really need, and our lifestyle can creep up, making it harder to enjoy life to the fullest in our 40s. All right, let's talk about the seventh important financial goal to aim for before hitting 40, achieving a credit score of at least 800. I know I mentioned avoiding debt earlier, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't aim for the best deal when you do need to borrow money. In today's world, it's pretty hard to avoid debt unless you happen to have a lot of cash lying around. For most people, buying a home would be out of reach without a mortgage. So if you're going to take out a mortgage, it's smart to aim for the best possible deal, and having a top-notch credit score is key to that. Getting a credit score of 800 or more before you turn 40 is doable because you've had enough time to build up a solid credit history, and don't underestimate how much a few percentage points can affect your loan interest rates. On a $500,000, 30-year mortgage, the difference in total interest paid between a 3% and a 4% interest rate is nearly $100,000. If you have a credit score of 800 or above, lenders will see you as someone reliable and responsible with loans. 
and you'll likely qualify for the best interest rates available. But if your credit score is lower because you haven't focused on building it, you might end up paying thousands more in interest over time with higher rates. The eighth important financial goal to aim for before turning 40 is to establish a solid fitness routine. Believe it or not, fitness and finances are closely connected. Not having a good fitness routine can make it harder for you to work effectively, earn more money, and might lead to higher healthcare costs in the long run. Now, when I talk about a solid fitness routine, it needs to be appropriate for your age. You can't expect to follow the same workout plan you did in your 20s when you're in your late 30s. I've learned this the hard way. I've pulled muscles trying to run or lift weights like I did in my younger days, or eating the same way I did back then, which my stomach definitely didn't appreciate. Think of your body like a machine that needs regular maintenance and care. When you develop a diet and workout plan that suits your age, it keeps your body running smoothly, like a Ferrari, instead of breaking down like an old clunker at the first bump in the road. For me, I've cut out processed foods from most of my diet and focus on exercises that prevent injury rather than aiming to bulk up or get faster. If we don't take care of our bodies, it doesn't matter how much money we have because we won't be able to enjoy it. The ninth important financial goal to reach before turning 40 is to organize your estate plan and life insurance, especially if you have family members who rely on you. Your family will likely have significant financial needs in your 40s and 50s, so it's crucial to prepare for the unexpected. I recommend getting a 20 or 30 year term life insurance policy that's at least 10 to 12 times your annual expenses. Some people might try to sell you other types of insurance like whole life or variable life, but I advise against them. When it comes to your estate plan, it's essential to work with a reputable estate lawyer. They can help you set up the necessary legal documents for your family, like a will or even a trust. These documents are like a safety net for your family. If something unexpected happens to you, they can help your loved ones avoid going through probate court. Without a good estate plan, your beneficiaries might not automatically receive your assets, and they could end up having to deal with a lengthy and expensive legal process. It's much better to plan ahead and ensure your loved ones are taken care of. Number 10 financial goal to achieve before the age of 40 is to start the money conversation with your Asian parents. Gene Chatsky, the famous personal finance writer, talks about the 70-40 rule. When a parent hits 70 or a child hits 40, it's time to talk. According to the Pew Research Center, nearly 30% of Americans with a parent of age 65 or older help mom or dad out financially. And this is a lot more common in lower income households. Getting your finances in order is within your control. So you may feel comfortable with all the goals that we've just talked about. You have defined your ideal financial lifestyle. You have no debt and you have more than five times your expenses investments. However, your desired future could be derailed if your parents aren't prepared financially. It's not like you'll need to provide financially, but by starting the conversation early with your parents, you have more information you can work with, and you might find that they're a lot more prepared than you gave them credit for. And in a rare case, they might actually welcome a conversation with you, given they've been meaning to talk but couldn't find the right time to bring it up, I recommend you watch the next video in our series. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching.